Welcome back to the BK Pets. I'm Bryce, my wife Kenzie's behind the camera. Today we're teaching you how to transition your cat from one food to another. And we're gonna do this in a pretty slow process, about seven to 10 days. And each couple of days, we're gonna increase the amount of new food and decrease the amount of old food so that you're doing this, like I said, slowly, and it's gonna be easier on their digestive system. Now, before we get started, there are a couple things that you can do right now with your cat's current food that can help get them prepped for the transition. Number one is add in some sort of probiotic to the food you're already feeding them. This can help start diversifying the gut microbiome and gives them a jump start because especially if you're going from kibble to like raw food or a homemade diet, you're completely changing the makeup of their gut microbiome. So this can give them a little bit of a head start. Number two is slippery elm powder. And you can add this in a little before, but this is gonna be really great during the actual transition because slippery elm kind of acts like pumpkin does for dogs and it can help clear up diarrhea and constipation and ease their, ease their digestive system a little bit. It makes the transition a little bit smoother for them. And I forgot to mention for a 10 pound cat, I would recommend about a teaspoon a day of the kefir and probably a quarter teaspoon of the slippery elm powder. Now, if you're not having any issues with poop or digestive issues as you're going through the transition, you may not need this, but it can be really great um, kind of going into it and during it if you do run into issues. So now that you're ready to begin the transition, the first step is going to be figuring out how much of your old food you need to feed, which you already know kind of how much you're feeding now, as well as how much of the new food. So the foods we're showing you today are gonna be really easy because they're kind of in the same category. They're both a dried food. This one is kibble, this one is a freeze dried. But if you're going from say kibble to a raw food, you're gonna need to do a little bit of a different calculation. That calculation is going to be basically 3% of their body weight. So if your cat weighs 10 pounds, you're gonna take 10 pounds times 0.03 or 3% to give you your total amount of pounds they need to eat a day of balanced fresh food. And if you wanna convert that to ounces, you're gonna multiply that times 16 to get how many ounces they need to eat in a day. And then from there, that would be your kind of goal of how much you're gonna feed once you finish the transition. So you can cut that up into your sections of the transition that we'll talk about here in a minute to incorporate with the old food. So let's show you how to do this transition. This is my new food here. So the first, I would say day or two, you're gonna feed 25% of the new food and 75% of the old food. So I'm actually gonna add in about 75% and we're not calculating this exactly here. If you want, you can measure this food out by weight and do exactly 75%, but I recommend just eyeballing it because you're gonna get pretty close and then 25% of this new food. Again, with something like this that's bigger, you could probably take all these out and count them and then do 75%, but I'm just gonna throw in about three or four. And then at this point is when you could also add in your probiotic and slippery elm if you want to. And stage two is going to be 50-50. So again, not gonna be exact here, just gonna eyeball 50% of the new food and 50% of the old food. And we're gonna do this for a couple days, I would say, Days one, two, and maybe three are gonna be that 25, 75, and then three, four, and maybe five are gonna be this 50, 50 blend here. And then days six, seven, and maybe eight are gonna be 75, 25. So 75% of our new food and 25% of our old food. And then by days eight, nine, or 10, you are fully transitioned to your new food. Now, I do wanna note a couple things that you might encounter along the way. Number one, you might run into diarrhea or gastrointestinal upset. It's just kind of the nature of the game if you don't do this exactly right, which who does anything exactly right these days or ever. So you might run into that. What we recommend is stick with the slippery elm, stick with the probiotics, and don't move on to the next day or the next stage until you have solid poops. So even if you are struggling just in the first stage at 25% new food, stay there until you have solid consistent poops and then go on to the next stage. Another thing you might encounter specifically if you're feeding a raw or a homemade diet, is if you're feeding raw meaty bones, you may run into some gums bleeding. And this is not something to be concerned about right away because it's similar to us if we don't floss for a while and then you all of a sudden floss or you go get a dental cleaning, it's an absolute bloodbath. It's not gonna be like exactly like that for your cats, but you might see a little bit of bleeding if they're chewing on raw meaty bones, especially if they've never done that. 
Now again, if you're feeding a homemade diet, this will look a little bit differently. What you're gonna need to do is check out our how to balance video or our homemade diet guide for cats and it'll show you how to balance it. You're gonna create the balanced food and then portion half of it while still keeping you know, every category like the, the muscle meat, the bone, the organ meat. You're gonna split that in half and then feed that along with it or split it into 25% for each stage of this. So it might not be exactly as clear cut and easy as switching from you know one commercial kibble to a freeze dried food, but it's still totally possible. So try not to get discouraged, you can definitely do it. And last thing I wanna mention is you're not seeing us prepare these meals exactly as we would when we're actually feeding them. We would add water, we always recommend hydrating any dry food, maybe a couple toppers, maybe a quail egg, things like that. So we're not just feeding it dry, we recommend adding those things as well. So congratulations, your cat's on a brand new food and if you're transitioning especially from something to a higher quality you should see a lot of really positive changes so we're very happy that you're on this journey with your cat and we wish you all the luck as always i'm bryce my wife kenzie and i created the bk pets to help you enrich and extend the lives of your dogs and cats at home we'll see you in the next episode <laughs>